Hey guys, Craig from Accelerate Off Grid Touring here and today we are doing a Jayco with a difference. So this one's still getting a full 600 amp hour off grid system but a few little extra bits of fruit from Victron and Cymarine as well as the brand new Enerdrive Inverter Charger. So now we are inside the Jayco where we have the system split between both sides of the couch. There's too much stuff to jam in under one side, so I've got to split between the two, but there's just a little bit of storage room left in here. What we've got in here is a fair bit different to a lot of our other setups. So we still have the Invicta Lithium batteries, which I'll show you in a second, the DC-DC, that's all pretty straightforward. But everything under here is a bit different to what you're used to seeing. So. What we have got here is in one of the brand new, that have been out for a month or two, the Enerdrive Dometic uh, 3000 watt 100 amp inverter chargers. So what this does is essentially two jobs in one. What would normally do the job of a separate charger, so 240 volt mains charger, and a separate inverter is now combined into one unit. These are, they're also known as a combi, or a combi inverter. These new units are a lot more compact than the original combis, meaning we can now fit them into tighter spaces like under the caravan seats. So what this baby does, allows 3000 watts of inverter power to run your aircon, your air fryer, microwave, all that sort of work, um, but also provides 100 amps of charge in. So 100 amps of charge in is obviously a massive amount of charge. Being we have 600 amp hours of lithium, it can take it with no worries at all. Main reason we've gone with this one for this customer is even though he's got obviously a massive amount of solar, massive amount of battery storage, he wanted the ability if they had a week of bad weather to just chuck a generator on and really cram the charging quick into this battery system. So being there's a 100 amp charger, 600 amp hours of lithium, six hours running the Jenny from dead empty to dead full and it's got a full van again so the other main difference which we've done a lot of these systems before but we've never actually bothered to record one to put on YouTube so we thought we would show you through this one as a good example we've got the Cymarine monitoring system so in our other videos I'm sure you would have seen the Endrive ePro monitor which is the round one um, the which just gives you a real basic overall battery percentage and total current flow so it's good gives you what you need but it can be a little bit vague for some people so for this we have gone for the Cymarine. Now, the Cymarine unit itself um, is just the screen. So Cymarine, think of a bit of a Lego set, I guess, if that makes sense. So you've, you've almost got the, the base unit, which is the screen, and then everything, every feature you want to add on, you buy a separate module for. So in this case, what we've done to get all of the monitoring that the customer needs is obviously the Pico screen, which I'll run through in a second. We've also got the main shunt, which is a big 500 amp shunt. So that's the main overall current reader, if you like. These two other modules down here um, are what we call a 50 amp quad shunt module and a 25 amp quad shunt module with a tank sender on, or tank reader on it as well, I should say. 50 amp module is what we do to monitor all their charging operations. So essentially the, from the solar controller, DC, all that sort of jazz runs through that so we can talk back to the screen um, and give you those individual readouts which I'll show you in a second. So it tells you what your DC DC is doing separate to what your solar is doing, separate to what you're pulling off the system. The 25 amp shunt module um, is the one we use for the loads essentially. So all your smaller loads, so for the existing caravan lights, um, this has got a three-way fridge, but we've had a compressor fridge, we've actually run a, a spare wire if you want to swap it out, so it's monitored through there. Um, any of your smaller 12 volt loads uh, are through there and monitored. It's also got water tank monitoring as well. So what we've done on this Jayco, we've dropped the water tanks, ripped out the old senders, put in a new float level senders and wired it back up to the Cymarine. So over on this side, obviously we have the DC-DC charger and something blue, which is not something we typically have in our vans, but something you'll probably start to see a bit more of, and that's the Victron solar controllers. So the, in particular this case, we've got the four 190 watt Enerdrive panels on the roof, 
and we have teamed them with the Victron Solar Controller. Now, you're probably wondering why have we gone for the Victron in this van? Main reason is customer obviously wanted solar input separately, which you can do through the Simarine as well. But, shows it direct in the solar controller itself and will also give him a graph over time of how the solar has been performing throughout the day. They are also extremely efficient too. We have actually found that these Victron controllers are pretty much the most efficient controller on the market. So what we've also got, obviously, the old trusty Enerdrive DC to DC charger. These things are obviously bulletproof, been around for ages, five year warranty. Um, it's just basically in charge of obviously charging from the vehicle. So when the vehicle's plugged in to this, it charges battery system up, as well as the portable solar input. So we have obviously the four 190 watt panels on the roof. The customer wants to get like a 250 watt, 300 watt blanket, plug into an Anderson plug outside. That's gonna be run and controlled by the DC-DC and it's gonna help charge those batteries up. Now we're over yonder in the other side of the couch. So we've got under here, essentially it's pretty much just the battery. So we've literally just got the three 200 amp hour Invicta lithium batteries. Now you're probably wondering why we didn't go for two 300s rather than three 200s. Reason behind that, purely because they didn't fit. So we've literally got the three 200s stronger than 600 amp hours under here um, in the smallest space possible and it works out just fine. We've also got the and a drive battery guard unit. We always fit these as standard. Each of the lithium batteries have their own built-in BMS or protection unit, um, but we always put an external one on just to keep everything super nice and safe um, and to make sure you're gonna have zero dramas in the future. Up here, this is where all the fun happens. So obviously it looks a little bit prettier than the standard old E-Pro gauge. So instead we have the Simarine. Now this isn't completely set up yet. We're still working on this fan, um, but we'll give you a really good idea of what this thing's capable of. So main home screen, obviously big percentage, pretty little gauge. Works awesome. So it gives you obviously a really clear indication of what your battery percentage is sitting at. And this little blue arrow down here shows you obviously at what, um, whether you're getting charged in or charges going out. Um, over here, they're not calibrated yet, but we have two water tanks with an extra two wired up for future. So this customer is getting another two water tanks in the future. So there's gonna be four tanks in total. Once they're calibrated, it gives you a really clear indication of how many liters and how obviously percentage of what's left in the tanks. So this is the other main screen here. So what you'll see here is obviously at the top, your main battery. So obviously that's your total current flow in and out. You've got the your loads. So your lights, that sort of stuff, whatever's turned on inside the van. We've got a silver one there for a compressor fridge in the future if they decide to change over to compressor fridge. So we'll probably get rid of that um, just from the display. But if they want to add it in, it's as literally easy as plugging the fridge in and away they go. Um, and obviously solar. So this is a big one. Batteries are full at the moment. So obviously the solar is not doing too much. Um, but this solar one there obviously gives you that separate indicator of what is happening um, on your loads versus what's going in. And the same for the DC-DC too. So DC-DC will also be for your external solar input as well. So you can see quite clearly what's coming into the van as well as what's going out at the same time. So that's about it for the Sol Marine in this one. Obviously they're a really nice, neat unit. So up here, instead of the little square inverter switch that you're so used to seeing on all of our other builds, this is the new screen for the big 3000 watt 100 amp inverter charger. Um, so as I said before, this guy obviously provides power to your 240 volt while you're off grid and while you're plugged into grid, charges at an insane 100 amps. So pretty straightforward, same as all of the other ones essentially to turn her on. Just power button down for a few seconds. It's a little bit longer on this one than the other ones. You'll soon hear that beep, everything will turn on and Bob's your uncle. So once it goes through its little wake up procedure, it works almost exactly the same as the other 2600 watt inverters. Um, base screen gives you obviously voltage, hit the up button shows you the amps at 12 volt that's being pulled out of the battery, which is really handy. Obviously all that information is gonna be through the Simarine screen as well, but um, just gives you that, uh, that option. Now you can also hit that once more and that then tells you how many kilowatts you're using as well. So 
pretty straightforward guys, but um, yeah, really, really good. Um, a bit more informative and obviously a much bigger, um, faster charge and much bigger inverter than the 2600 as well. So really awesome bit of kit. Thanks for watching guys. As always, if you'd like what you've seen today, chuck us a like and a subscribe on YouTube. If you'd like a system like this for yourself, make sure to give us a call or shoot us an email to myself or one of the friendly team can get back to you and give you a hand. If you'd like to see some of our other touring builds and caravan builds, check them out up here. Otherwise, YouTube thinks you should watch this. Thanks guys.